What's happening everybody? What's Today, up you guys? Christy and I, we're here. We are at the boat ramp, putting our boat in the water. Christy and... just did an amazing job backing up the boat. Christy's like the best at it, by thank the way. Thank you, thank you. So today, you guys, we're gonna show y'all how to harvest your own bait, mud minnows or gudgeons. And the boat ramp is actually one of the best places to do it. Yes, so here we've got our cast net. All right, you guys, so there's a bunch of different sizes that you guys can get for cast net. We're just gonna be throwing a six foot today and we're gonna show you guys how it's done, how to harvest your own gudgeons, mud minnows. Let me preface this video by first saying, you wanna be really respectful. This is something that you mainly do on a weekday when there's not a lot of people here at the boat ramp. But boat ramps are great for bait. They're great for mud minnows. They're great for little fiddler crabs. Um, just a lot of bait because people that clean their fish right here. And I don't know, this is just also like a place that the bait will hang out in because there's not a lot of predator fish around here. So a lot of these little minnows, they all hang out right here at the boat ramp. So right here, there's just tons of mud minnows right here. And every day, Christy and I put our boat in, they're, it's loaded right here. So today, we're just gonna show you how easy it is. It's gonna save you all a ton of money. So every time we drop in our boat, this is something that we really like to do. We like to throw artificials, but sometimes live bait is just the way to go and it gets it done. Super effective throwing live bait and there's a ton. And they get spooked really easy too. All right. You can see like little flashes. Yeah, they get spooked super easy, so if you guys like walk right up on them, they're gonna see your shadow and they're gonna kind of scatter. So you wanna kind of stand back a little bit and then let it sink and pull it in. Watch this. <laughs> there we go, got a few. Well, so the mud minnows do spook pretty easy, but then they always just come right back. It's weird. Yeah. They, they just love these areas, again, because there's a lot of protection from predator fish. There's not like trout, redfish, and flounder in here. All Let's right. see what you got. So we didn't get a huge haul of bait, but. No, it's okay. We, we got, got some. Bait. Yeah. This is really like this all, is all you need you right need. here. And make sure you guys fill your bucket up with water, which we forgot to do. That's like the perfect size. So this right here, people. So this is like the perfect size for flounder, redfish, and trout. Fish that underneath of a popping cork on a bottom rig. Forget about it. So check this out. So these mud minnows, they literally just hang out in like four, literally like three to four or five inches of water. And there's tons of them. So you guys can do this at your local boat ramp anywhere. But again, you do want to be really respectful. Christy's going to show you her awesome cast net throwing skills. Let's hope so. That's and they'll also hide in the shadows, like right here. Sometimes you can just throw a blind cast in the shadows, but you can see them like flashing. Oh yeah, look at them. Wow. All right. Nice throw. Thank you. Yeah, so like Jeff said, a lot of these mud minnows are gonna actually be, they can even be hiding in the shadows or kind of right up on the structure. So right there on that little piling, there was a few dozen just chilling. Yep. Got there a few you go. in the net. That's perfect. Yep, and we just throw the cast in a few times, load up on them, and then this is all the bait that you guys will need. Make sure you guys get an aerator or something to keep your bait nice and fresh while you're out on the boat so they don't die. Mud minnows do last forever though, I'm gonna tell y'all. That's the benefit of these gudgeons, these mud minnows. They last forever, they're great profile. This is pretty much what all of like the popular artificial baits like mimic, like a Berkeley, like a Berkeley Gulp uh, swimming mullet or a Z-Man Paddle Z or whatever. It's this that they're mimicking right there is like a mud minnow. So you guys, so these mud minnows, they will literally live like this for about 20 minutes. But like Christy was saying, you do want to fill it up with water. Um, so, oh, and also another tip, when you guys are using these mud minnows for bait, what we like to do is you can put these like underneath of a cork or on the bottom. And let's say you're fishing from land, a boat, or you're wade fishing. So put one rod with like a live bait on and then you can cast your artificial. But these guys right here, always like a sure bet for getting bit. Yeah, a lot of times you guys, Jeff and I will be in the, in the front of the boat, we'll be standing on the bow, kind of casting with our artificials, and then out back, 
we've got one or two lines at the popping cork rig depth and then we've got the gudgeon underneath and y'all it is always such a fun bite whenever it's the live bait bite and all of a sudden you see your rod, your rod bouncing you're fishing in the front so you run to the back reel it in and so it can't really be a live bait bite it's always a good time and always catching some good fish all right let's go on this side so that's the thing with these gudgeons these mud minnows you guys is they literally just come right back to where they were um but yeah like they'll just be chilling just like right here right off of the boat ramp and everything so yeah if you use polarized shades then you can literally like see them and some other bait that y'all can like down in florida and here in virginia north carolina wherever is finger mullet are also right here um you'll see them just finger mullet typically like when it's really calm like this you'll see like a v and some like little wakes at the top that's typically a dead giveaway a finger mullet but some other quick tips yeah you guys like don't walk like right up on them like right here right up at the edge of the water because you're just going to spook them so you want to throw your cast net from about like seven like five feet from the water all right what's that bubbling right there I don't know. It's just the uh, concrete. All right, let's come over here. So that's typically what we do on a weekday like this. We'll start on one side over here, and then we'll just come right back here, and then we'll just flip flop. All right, here comes the boat. One more throw. Beautiful throw. All right. And there we have it, you guys. Just through the cast net five times. Got enough bait for our morning fishing sesh. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Perfect timing as well. Because we got another boat that's putting in right here. And y'all, that was like, how many throws was that? Like three, maybe, four? Maybe four, yeah. Three or four. four. That's it. Not many. That's how you do it right there. So perfect size for bait. Look at all this, look at this. All right, you guys, check this out. So Ooh, like Jeff said, one. that is a perfect size for bait. And y'all can catch some big old redfish and trout and even flounder on these guys. Mud minnows and little gudgeons right there. You guys, that's what it's all about. Grab yourself a cast net, go catch your own live bait and you guys can be getting on some big old speckled trout. And there they go flopping. But these are gudgeons right here. Gonna go through the bottom lip, out the top lip, just like that. So we're running a little tandem rig action here. Sorry, dude, this guy had a bad day. There we go. Fish on. All right, people, second little puppy drum on these guys. This guy might actually be a keeper. Fish right there. Out the top lip, just like that. Little number one size hooks. There we go. There we go. Alright, people. Fish all, fish all the gudgeon. What do we got? What do we got? Nice little trout. This is the worst one to put Alright, people. Another nice speckled trout on the live gudgeon. All right, people, so today I just wanna show y'all real quick what we were fishing with. So we started out, actually we started out using a fish finder rig or a Carolina rig. All you do is you take, this is a egg weight sinker. This is a one ounce egg weight sinker and this will slide up and down your main line. And then all you need is this egg weight sinker and then you've got these barrel swivels, two way swivels, and then number one size hooks. Super easy, super effective. Y'all, we're gonna do a tutorial, a separate video on this, so make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And then we used a uh, popping cork, and this right here is you can use it just as a bobber, very easy. So underneath of the cork, um, you're using 15 pound uh, leader line, and just the number one size hooks, and these little gudgeons right here. Actually, so, We've been tearing up the fish on these Z-Man Minnow Zs. That right there is, you see the similarity? Right there, so this Z-Man Minnow Z and the gudgeons, 
um, this has been getting it done. But today, honestly, uh, we came out here with intentions of doing this video for y'all. Not gonna lie, we actually tried throwing artificials. We were throwing the minnow Z, and we actually weren't having that much success. Um, we started just catching tons and tons of redfish and trout, and we just went to only live bait. But if y'all can see the similarities right here. Whoa! Um. But yeah, so y'all can see the similarities right here between the two. And this right here, this early spring, mid spring, this is like the main uh, forage for our fish. So this is like the main bait. And where's our dude at? We're gonna hook this guy up right here because we are done. And you guys, when you're out on the water, spread a little positivity. And we are done with our bait. So um, we're gonna hook it up. And dude, seriously, okay. You got your gudgeons right here. Have you ever fished live bait? Yeah. All right, you got your corks and everything. Take these, dude. We've been tearing them up. Look at this is this was like cast for cast. Look at this, dude. Just right up there on this bank. I'm telling you, dude, it's not stuff. So take you got if you want it here. Take these hooks right there. If you got that, and then um, like three foot below your popping cork, uh -huh. just put a gudgeon under it. Game over. Uh, thank you. Yeah, brother. I say I enjoy your channel, man. I was, like, I, I was like, your voice is so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's nonstop. Yeah. So. What's up, man? So. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. You. Yeah, brother. But yeah, hope you get them. Man, yeah, me too. They're biting. <laughs> so yeah, you're good on corks. Yeah. Sweet. You got leader line? Uh, yeah, I got, yeah, I got about, probably about 20 more feet left. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Sweet. That's all you need. Thank cool. you. All right, brother. Yeah. Have a good night. Hey, you too. Good All right. Luck. Hopefully get on them. 